Welcome to Coffee Stories with Drift Away Coffee, where we preview this month's coffees. This month in the Fruity Profile, we're roasting a coffee from the Neja Fadil washing station in Uraga, Ethiopia. COVID has thrown off shipping schedules for the coffees this year, and while we wait for new winter coffees to arrive, we get to feature one last Ethiopian before we move on to the coffees from other East African countries like Congo, Burundi, and Tanzania. Ethiopia is on the east coast of the African continent. Guji Zone is a southern region of Ethiopia. Uraga is a wareda or district in the south of Guji Zone, which shares its border with another well-known coffee growing region, Sidama. This coffee comes from the 45 smallholder producers in the villages surrounding Tobito Tuta, where it was collected at the Neja Fadil mill. Neja Fadil, the founder of his eponymously named washing station, has been operating it since 2017. After a career as a collector of coffee harvests, as well as a technical advisor to washing stations. Neja Fadil has also contributed to this lot with the second ever coffee harvest from his own farm. And this is the first time his farm has ever had coffee exported. Ben Hines from Crop to Cup answered several questions for me about this coffee. Ben visited Neja in February of this year. I will just finish by relaying what Ben has written to me about Neja and the coffees coming out of his mill. Ben said, with his technical background in coffee processing, his competitiveness, and his attention to detail, we are very excited about the coffees that he will continue to produce. He is also located in a region of the Guji zone that is extremely high elevation and produces some very fantastic coffees from Ethiopian heirloom varietals. The combination of excellent growing conditions, unique cultivars, and Neja's ability to process coffees at the top end of the quality spectrum make these coffees very special. That's the Ethiopia Araga Neja Fadil. For more info about this coffee, visit driftaway.coffee slash ENF. And check out the links in the description below for our other profiles this month. Thanks for checking out Coffee Stories. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you next month. Hi, everyone. I'd like to add a quick note here about something we've been made aware of by coffee growers and importers in Guatemala and Honduras. Hurricane season has been relatively quiet this year for North America, Central America has been pounded by no less than three hurricanes this fall, one of them being a Category 5 hurricane. This has affected the homes and livelihoods of farmers of coffees you may have enjoyed last year from Honduras and Guatemala. Since coffee farmers live high in the mountains, floods and mudslides have been destroying homes and farms in these areas. I just wanted to share some links with you that you can use to donate to hurricane relief that will directly help farmers that have produced coffees that you may have enjoyed from the Driftaway subscription. One of these coffees is being roasted this month, HBP, the Honduras Santa Barbara Paranema. Finca Terrorito has a GoFundMe page up to help rebuild the community surrounding them, including the Belen Gualto community of farmers, which grew the coffee HBG in September last year. Onyx Coffee has a GoFundMe page for Guatemalan hurricane relief, which will be linked in the description below. Onyx has brought two really great coffees from Huehuetenango this fall, the Los Angeles and the La Inteligencia. Onyx also shared a link to Guatemala's Habitat for Humanity, which has a fund to help rebuild homes in Guatemala. Please consider checking out these relief funds. Thank you for your time.